everybody and thank you for joining me in our let's play of Hearts of Iron 4 as the mighty Soviet Union under Gennady Zhuganov. Всем привет дорогие друзья. Меня зовут Сакрит и давайте играет День Победы 2. Это сюрприз, мои друзья. Als das äh, als die UDSSR und äh, führen wir unser Play fort. Well, we are currently in the year 2018. Uh, if you have questions, what I'm saying on the other languages, just ask me. Um, we are uh, perhaps going to well first. Yeah, I will wait until the NATO gets dis dismantled completely, and after that happens, I will go to war against well the European states. And we need gold, actually. We need gold. Uh, one second. Yeah, we need gold. And therefore, uh, we can't produce gold. I will see. Yeah, we need 19 gold. Why do we need gold, perhaps? Why? Uh, yeah, we can get gold from China. Actually, we can get gold. Okay. I think it's money because of our tank. We need gold. Let's check. Why do we need gold? I really don't know. Do we need tungsten? But why do we need gold? Tungsten. Well, I have no gold, gold, gold. Well, it doesn't tell here why we need gold, unfortunately. That's the problem. Alright, well, we have well, our resources like shit tons of. Well, I want to produce tanks. Uh, perhaps <coughs> more troops as well. I want to get 5 million troops in total. I'm gonna produce more of the Strakovaya Divizia. Yeah, Strakovaya Divizia in Majur. Majur. Let's. That should be alright. Yeah, let's get the trains. Manpower is. So, Moyo, let's get a bit more. Alright, 4.9. Alright, 5.28 million, there we go, that's what we want. We need so many resources, why? Like out of nowhere, you see that? Out of nowhere I need so much. Well, then the only thing that we can do against this is to get it. Uh, still 13 oil, 13. Well, a tank maybe, yeah. All the tank, yeah, needs it. China can't give me anything. A zero out of sixty-one. Why? Oh, they can. Okay. Let's get it from India. I really need to build uh, gold factories. <laughs> gold factories, yeah. Uh, banks. So, mummy. That gives me mummy. Yeah. Uh, let's build mummy in the uh, Moscovian region. Let's build the. Uh, I need tungsten, do I? I need yeah, more mummy here. I need tungsten as well. Uh, yeah, let's finish that first. Yeah, assign our military factories to produce the MET 4th generation MK1. Uh, MK1, Mark 1. Oh, I can produce the newer one, Mark 2. That does give me actually some updates. That's the thing, yeah. yeah I don't want to produce that yet. Well, our one is modified. Perhaps it even might be better than uh, the other one. Let's, uh, well, you have to check. Let's check that actually. Uh, well, we can assign naval dockyards here. Let's see, what are my best ships? Mm, nothing really. The battleship 3. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna produce battleship 3. Battleship 3, that's a really nice name for Battleship, battleship 3. Amazing name. I'm gonna uh, produce one in Leningrad. Yeah. And it's so much gold. Much oil as well because of the tanks. Oil, I need 49, so let's get. Uh, yep. 112. The tanks, I need 29. Yeah, I. Okay, I'm running low on tungsten. And I need steel, 34 steel. Oh, steel, I need steel. I can't get steel only on my own. 
I see you, and I need 45 gold. Yeah, I, I can get gold for gold from Turkey, although gold shouldn't be tradable. Well, it should be, but I mean, we are not giving them anything. The thing is, well, I really don't like the trading system in House of Iron. It's way too, well, unrealistic in House of Iron 4. In 3, it is okay, yeah, but in 4, it simply doesn't make any sense. I mean, in the 3, but in 4, yeah, in 4, it doesn't make a body a little bit offense. It simply doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I have so much. Let's get the weapons too. Um, I have so much of surplus, especially, well, I'm gonna get the bigger, <laughs> I don't know what to get the bigger surplus of. Yeah, I really don't know. I could add infantry. Well, I'm gonna let it right, I don't know. Yeah, let's have it just stockpiled, then no harm in it, is it? No harm in it. Okay, um... I'm just gonna produce, I don't know. Oh, what the Kingdom of Sweden declared war on Sweden? Oh, look at that, they have one territory. They have one territory. Well, they have 11 to 40, 24 divisions, while the Swedes have 17 to 66, and the Finns, well, don't have that many, probably the Finns are helping them. The NATO uh, is here. When are the elections? The elections are in oh, 2020 only, 2020. Well, that's rather problematic because that means I need to wait two years and I can invite the new I can of Sweden. Why would I invite them? Come on, they aren't even communist. Well, I will go to war against Poland. Yeah, just gonna say it because I really don't like to be in the war against NATO, but I'm gonna puppet them it's called Airy Allies. And let's execute our battle plan against the Polish armed forces. Field Marshal Grigory Konev. My troops here aren't even ready, perhaps. No, they aren't. <laughs> okay, let's make them ready. Well, uh, yeah, tell them just to push for the interior. Let's give them Rajatieski. Well, they are pushing quite fast. So let's uh, slow down, speed a bit. 14 divisions, no I don't need them right now, thank you. 46 steel. I need Vietnam, yeah. I have problems with my no, resources now, how you might see. I simply can't get them supplied. I need 14 steel, but I can't get steel. Here, yeah, I really need to build, so I'm gonna build the steel foundries in the Far East, just because... We can declare war against the Hungarians as well. Well, perhaps we should do that, yeah? Let's do that. Let's go to war against the Hungarians as well. Here, declare war, puppet. We need to push you to that territory. Well, we can even nuke it to make the push easier. Yeah, let's nuke it. We have no wrong province. Damn it. Well, I have two, uh, so many nukes. It doesn't matter really. No, there we go. Right, should be. Yeah, let's nuke Warsaw as well. Yeah. The nukes on Warsaw. Boom! Look to this. Warsaw has been nuked. Totally devastated. Let's make the war fast and sweep. Just nuke it so often as we can, so they'll capitulate really fast if that's the case. Just poor powers. Well, they took 45,000 equipment. Just see, it's so just nuke, nuke, nuke. Uh, yeah, we are fighting a against liberalism. Liberalism, that's <laughs> funny, isn't it? Now let's nuke them once more. Right, they have an accuracy of only 20%, okay. Well, they should fall straight away after the capture of Warsaw. Straight after the capture of Warsaw. Oh, 
Alright, that's it. Uh, the war against the Hungarians. Well, they are surprisingly tough. They are long supply. Well, that means we need to use nukes to get uh, our way punched through the Hungarians. <laughs> that's gonna be so fun. Just to punch our way through. Yeah, let's make a bell hole here as well. As well as here and here to widen our front. Let's look at that now. Boo! <laughs> look to the atomic bombs! <laughs> oh my god, poor Hungarians. Let's boo, bomb, and you put up his once more. Perhaps, why not? Polish troops are coming the encircled. Let's break them. The Poles lost 112, the uh, Hungarians lost 114,000, while the Poles lost uh, how many? The Poles lost only 57,000. But we are closing in on Warsaw. The Battle of Warsaw. I'm gonna nuke Warsaw uh, so it's uh, being. Uh, so we can capture it faster. There we go. There we go. Come on. Poland should fall instantly after the capture of the Warsaw. Like. Literally instantly. I'm not sure though if we should max them or puppet them. What do you guys think? Maxing or puppeting? That's bloody low infrastructure there. That explains our uh, why we are pushing that badly. We need to get all of the area, we need to get out, so I'm just gonna nuke them. Just nuke the way through. Isn't that a, a nice, uh, well, tactic to wage war? Here, let's see. Okay, the Pauls did capitulate. The Pauls did capitulate. Let's see. Oh, we have lots of steel. Sorry, but I need to get that steel. That's the one thing. 110 steel. Yeah, I think I can uh, pop the rest. Yeah, 36. Steel as well, 12 aluminum. We are still Lublin, Krakow. No, I need to pop the rest. I'm not sure if I could annex, if I should annex them fully or pop them. Uh, what do you, well, I don't know. Uh, uh, Alex, let's annex uh, these regions here because of the steel, of course, and the rest pop it. Yeah, that's one fine. As well as Hinterpommern. Yeah, that sounds fair. I can annex them later anyways if I just feel to, so... Okay, that's it. Yeah, Polish People's Republic. Yeah, oh, what, I got Piaschak as well. I didn't want to, but okay. Okay. That's Poland now. Okay, now let's uh, ready our troops against the Slovenians. Uh, Slovenia, yeah. Uh, Slovenians, yeah. We had how many divisions active? Uh, 60 and 6. Ready them against the Slovenians here. Yeah. Make a straight push to Bratislava. And look, they didn't join them out. Perhaps to the Malfo just doesn't like to have the middle wrist. Liberalists as uh, well in their country, so that might be the thing. We shouldn't need any more steel, I think. Uh, do we? No, we have a surplus of steel, yeah. We can cancel our import, we still have a surplus. Great. Uh, we made tungsten though. Tungsten, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, put some tungsten factories right here. The Far East region, just I don't care really where it is, just somewhere. Like that, okay. Now, tungsten factories are being built. I need one more oil. Let's get it from our trade partner, the Bolivians. Yeah, that's the Soviet exclave, and that's the Polish People's Republic. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, I can go and still annex them, so if you think it's better if we annex them, then let me know and I'll do it. 
While the Slovenians they really don't have any troops, let's declare our oh, they are being guaranteed by Sweden. That means ultimately that we that we would go to war with the North European a defensive alliance as well, which is well which are only defense and they uh, extremely don't propose a threat and the Swedes. And that's completely wrong. That's not the Ukrainska Fronta, that's utterly wrong. Let's do that. Uh, Finland's Gaia Fronta and that's just uh, Central Nea Fronta Central Nea Vaiska Vaiska okay. Hanske Fronta okay Yeah. Actually, I need two armies, one to push into Finland and the second one to push into Sweden, then in that case. Uh, 41 troops guarding here. Uh, 66. I have even 27 ready. Uh, 27. Let me assign 27 to this front only. I have the task to capture Helsinki and to knock off the fence. Let's uh yeah, Finlandske Fronta. Well at least forty five will have the task of pushing into Sweden then. And that will be the case. First like that second like that uh and second I don't know here what uh, okay yeah. We can only assign them to the Swedes uh Finns because we aren't in war yet. The uh Finns Okay, let's use the field marshal. And I wanna produce more MT4 Gen MK1 tanks. Okay, let's I can invite yeah, Sweden. Why should I invite Sweden, please? I'm not gonna do that. Uh, eight oil. Let's get just sixteen oil so I don't need to click it two times. Oh, look, French went social democrat. Well, we can see the mod isn't really dumb because they are called FRA social democrats. They are social democracy. Right now, well, that's interesting. Will Germany change as well? Mm, they are still mainly centrum democratic. Oh, that's the NATO. Rather a loose alliance now, I would say. Not really a strong one. Well, with Germany in it, they are still considerably strong. But ultimately, the NATO should get responded. Actually, socialism is losing ground, and social democracy is winning. Unfortunately, that's uh, not that good. Well, they even got a socialist revolutionary, so that's interesting. Well, let's see how it will happen. Uh, we are in war against the Hungarians. Still, the Hungarians they should capitulate after the capture of Budapest. They are capital. Well, they are, well, we nuked them really uh, just horribly. Uh, yeah. So, in that case, goodbye. Well, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know, annex. Yeah, let's annex them. You know, yeah, having them as puppets can be quite, well, annoying. So, I'm gonna annex yeah, every country from now on. Perhaps I'm gonna annex Poland as well later on. Completely. A complete annexation. Yeah. And the Turkish Civil War is going like that. The left, the European part, uh, is being controlled by the Democrats, while the Asian part is being controlled by the non aligned GHP party. Uh, what, India declared war or Pakistan declared war on Pakistan? Well, Democratic is non aligned. Although they are mainly right Islam, that doesn't make any bloody sense to me once more. Well, why did they just decide, okay, we will get democratic just because we can. Well, that's the thing they go for. I really don't, can't understand why, but whatsoever. Let's declare war on them, puppet focus, so there we go. They will probably join a faction now, therefore, but let's simply push them. Yeah, Sweden to join, Finland should join us shortly afterwards.
Uh, come on, the fall of Budapest. Like I lost how many troops? Uh, 141,000. Well, we lost only 33,000. Yeah, we are gonna encircle uh, Budapest ultimately in 1999-100. The capture of Budapest and the fall of Hungary is coming right now. Yeah, they have well, so much aluminum. I'm gonna just annex all of them. Fuck it. We don't need puppets. Well, you know what? We can see like that. They can be a part of our uh, union. Of the, uh, like they can be a republic of the Soviet. Of the Soviet Socialist Republic, can't they? So that's perhaps even better. And more fun. And Finland, why won't Sweden call you in? There we go, finally, finally, that's what I wanted. Go, go. Here we go. The Finns even don't have troops, we are just marching straight into their territory. That's well, bad for them, but if they wish it. Okay. Uh, oh, I need 50 oil. 50. 50 oil. Uh, let's get everything from this. Oh, yeah, from the wall. Bolivarian Venezuela. Oh, it isn't even Bolivia. I thought it's Bolivia, but it's Bolivarian Venezuela. What's that? Uh, then we need still gold, but gold we can get from Turkey. Okay. Actually, I will take a break now. So thank you for watching me, and please let me know in the comments if you like the idea of annexing a every country or of, or of perhaps maybe puppeting them. But I think annexing is just better, because puppets can be annoying. Well, I'm sacred and I'm out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.